Hey everybody, Jeremy here. Uh, I wanted to give you this quick message, light bulb moment. Um, I wanted to show you this flow that Kyle and I just made, um, mostly Kyle, uh, with the idea from some of our customers, where you can essentially screenshot anything and send updates. Uh, we made a similar video to this um, that kind of had quite a few views. So we wanted to make another one where you can screenshot like any dashboard and then upload it to Google Drive specifically. And what we want to teach you is you can essentially do this with any kind of update. So this kind of like gets those gears turning on sending updates to people automatically with files uploading and downloading in the same flow. So check it out. Hey everybody. So building an automation that is going to be taking, uh, the goal is it's every day it's going to be taking a screenshot of our Stripe dashboard and then uploading that screenshot um, to Google Drive. I couldn't come up with a great flow that was you screenshotting something and then uploading it to a Google Drive. So if anybody has some good ideas for how you might use screenshot um, and storing it in Google Drive in combination, I would love to hear it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Stripe. That's not Stripe. That is. Um, and take a screenshot of this. So this is our... Um, is that auto hidden because of Loom? That's really cool. Anyways, this is our test mode, so don't worry, everybody. Our revenue is not zero. Uh, but anyways, on to this. We are going to scroll down and then take a screenshot and then upload this to Google Drive. So let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and copy my cookies, and let's make a quick automation that goes to stripe.com. Uh, that way we can load these cookies to avoid the login process. So stripe.com, and then I'll click I'm done. then these three dots, add cookies, and paste the cookies. So I think this is supposed to be dashboard.stripe.com. Anyways, that's okay. Um, let's continue recording. And this automation is really simple, obviously. All it's going to be is uh, scrolling down and then clicking or and then taking that screenshot. Um, one thing that I wanted to try doing, ooh, that almost didn't load test mode. Um, one thing that I wanted to try doing was uh, taking like a screenshot of some sort of reporting software. I know we've had a couple of people build something that exports like their, you know, their agile reports and things like that. And that would be a cool use case to upload to Google Drive. So here we are. Let's record a scroll down step. That way we can, this helps us kind of capture that uh, full page of uh, to screenshot. So we'll scroll down. And then let's make it just probably like five seconds is all we need to do there. And then let's take a screenshot. And that will be it. Uh, next we need to do, I'll, I'll walk you through what's going on here. Um, but next what we want to do is add our apps, which is going to be the Google Drive. So let's let that load really quick. I'm going to move this out of the way. All right, so we'll select Google Drive from here. And then we are gonna select um, upload or up, yeah, upload file. So upload file and then our connection. If you haven't connected already, just sign in with Google. File name can be whatever. And then I'm gonna pick a dummy file just to test with really quick. So I'll just add this. And we are just gonna double check that everything works here. Make sure your Google Drive step goes. That way we don't need to do any setup later. This will eventually be successful for us. There we go. Uh, and then all we need to do is let's replace this. Instead of using that file, we want it to use step three. Um, you'll see this icon kind of change, which is what we're doing to tell us that there's a, a variable being used. We're going to add something a little bit more obvious there, but got the supporting functionality out. Um, anyways, this is going to be using that step three screenshot variable for our Google Drive action. So. If I play this from here, let's go ahead and click play steps. And while I work on finding my Google Drive and where this is going, we okay, had to edit. I guess Loom does not blur everything. I did not load test mode. So here we go. Um, this is coming here, taking a screenshot for us. We can see because we have that scroll down. Um, it's capturing a little bit more page information for us. 
uh, to kind of get that full page view uh, a little bit better. So then once this finishes, it is going to upload that to our Google Drive and we are done. So if I pull up my Google Drive here, uh, we will see that screenshot has been uploaded. So let me know how you guys use this. Again, I think a really cool use case for this is any sort of um, manual reporting you have to do when you have to download those manual reports. Uh, this way you can have those automatically uploaded to Google Drive uh, as soon as it presses the download button.